social media is effectively helping freedom of expression especially among the youth they're more able to express themselves through facebook which is the largest uh, social media outlet in the country than they were years before when there was no facebook but for the press it hasn't done much good because free press for journalists to be able to practice they need a structure and the government has been adamant in destroying any structures of independent journalism in the country through corruptions through violence through coercion uh, but most effectively through corruption to give you an example um, as an investigative journalist who's been also under trial for the investigations I do in the mining areas I had my witnesses one of my witnesses arrested just last February uh, when the witness was traveling with me for a court hearing so to prevent the witness from giving testimony and the person who most campaigned to have my witness arrested happened to be someone I considered a very close friend who had asked to keep the witness in a safe house when in fact this very same person was negotiating with uh, generals who are prosecuting me uh, and had received money from them to pay the witness so the witness would um, would just uh, walk away and uh, leave me in the cold so these are the challenges we face every single day not only repression uh, not only beatings uh, but most importantly the destruction of the social fabric that makes people so vulnerable to corruption uh, to social coercion in one or another way.